Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. I'm gonna turn the map off. There we go. Uh, so the last time we finished off Dry Canyon, I got a bit stuck because there's a weird glide you have to do and I had to look it up online, it was embarrassing. This time we're gonna go to Cliff Town, which is over there. Uh, I don't remember what happens in this level at all, so let's see how we go. Again, there's a bit of lag while it does this little bit, which is interesting, because there's not much lag like at, at all that I've noticed during gameplay, but during the loading segments between levels, there's quite a bit, and it's very noticeable. Anyway, here we are. Wow, where are you going, Spyro? Come back here. Oh, I remember these guys. So, uh, these guys here, they're like, I guess, banditos or whatever. Uh, they've got these fireproof cloaks. So, you gotta charge them. There we go. But they look pretty cool is the main thing. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, we gotta, gotta get a bunch of gems again, as usual. Um, I believe I mentioned in a previous video, we have to get treasure to advance past this world. Uh, we already have more than enough. Like, you need a certain quota. But... We've already got it, but we're going to get everything anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, again, there's this uh, charge and then quickly switch over thing you have to do. Also, you want to cook these because gems will pop out when you put a bit of heat onto these little little uh, stew pots. I got gems in them. Uh, so yeah, this level... Yeah, it's basically a town that's on a cliff, so don't fall off or you'll you'll die from falling off. <laughs> Pretty simple. Uh, and there's just gems hidden all around the place. I believe there's basically gems on top of all the rooftops. Uh, the re way to get up there is to go all the way over to the end of the level and then glide back, because it gives you so much more height. So we'll have to wait for that one, uh, but we can get some of the gems on our way over. Charge those guys. Forget how much are here, 400, just like in Dry Canyon, cool. Yeah, we've got a lot of treasure already. <laughs> oh, thief. Again, I don't really like the thief design they've gone with, it's, it's not great. I mean, he was already wearing, like, the blue turban sort of thing, so it was a, arguably a bit of a stereotype, even the original version, but they've kind of accentuated that in the remake, and it's not something I'm a fan of, I've got to say. Ugh. Yeah, he just runs around this one building, so... There we go. That's another dragon egg. Yay! There's only a couple of these in the game. I, I think I think the most you need to get is like eight, maybe. Um, you do need to get dragon eggs to complete some of the worlds. Um, the way it goes is there's a world. The first world you need dragons. Second world you need treasure. Third world you need uh, eggs, and then it repeats. There are six worlds, so it just does the same thing twice. Dragons, then eggs, then me getting stabbed twice in a row. Dragons, then treasure, then eggs, and then me getting stabbed twice in a row. <laughs> um, I think there were some geckos back here that I could... Yeah, so, or some frill neck lizards. Some sort of lizard anyway. So yeah, you just kill these and they, they turn into butterflies and then sparks will eat the butterflies. And then you have golden sparks again. There we go. There's also some treasure back there I missed, so it's kind of a good thing I got hit. <laughs> Here's a dragon. I like the dragon designs a lot. The flame metal armor anyway. Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charge it with your horns. Metal conducts heat really well, so it's kind of strange that they've made it that metal protects things from dragon flames. <laughs> like, if you're holding a piece of metal and a dragon heats it up so it becomes red hot, and you're holding it, you're gonna burn your hands. I'm not quite sure they thought that through. 
it works in the context of this game, but logically it doesn't quite work. <laughs> uh, here there's some more of that poisonous water stuff, so watch out for that. It's interesting that they use like gross purple water in some areas and regular water in other areas. They have exactly the same effect. Like touching them still does the same amount of damage and still you still drown in them if you run out of health and land in them and all that sort of thing. So it's interesting that they've had the two different colours anyway. In the remake they could have made it so all the water was poisonous, which would explain why it all hurts you when in later games Spyro can swim. Uh, but they didn't, so you know, whatever. It's a firework up there, we want to jump and use our flame to set it off. I forget if you can actually do it that way. Yeah, it's working, okay. Uh, the reason you want to do that is, yeah, it explodes that chest over there which makes a couple gems come out, which we want, obviously. Because we're Spyro and we lust for treasure. I wonder if they were cooking up like new minions or something, since the minions are made of gems and they have them in these little stew pots as well. That'd be interesting. They might be making food and they put treasure in their food because like humans who put gold leaf on their food, they're weird. <laughs> weird and wasteful. So these were out of the um, firework. There was like a chest here that we had to break breeding it with the firework, which is where those gems came from. And we're about halfway through the level, making good progress. Another dragon up here who tells you you can glide a lot of places, I believe. Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? All right. <laughs> yeah, you have to glide over there, um, so you can reach the other side of the river. Uh, you'll notice there's also a couple of whirlwinds and stuff here now. That's just to make it a bit easier to get back up. Uh, I believe that appears when you get the dragon. It's just from down there, up to here, so you don't have to climb up the long way. Okay, that clearly isn't the way to do this. Um, forget how you get those. Uh, let's use the whirlwind. Woohoo! There we go. Pretty sure you have to glide over to those, but maybe from somewhere else? No, that did the trick. Okay. Cool. Uh, to get those other ones, you're gonna have to just climb up onto the other side of the river and do it from there. So, we'll get over there now. Twirly, 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 twirly. So, yeah, you wanna get up here where the dragon was, and you, then you can glide all the way over across the river. There we go, just made it. Uh, there's some more of these birds that we saw earlier. There's another one of these force fields as well, which we saw quite a while ago. Blomp. Don't do any damage, they just knock you back a little bit. I prefer it to have invisible walls because, you know, you can see where the thingies are and it makes a bit more sense. Although, it is questionable why that these big force fields have been constructed in the first place. So, you know, it just doesn't make all the sense. It makes some of the sense though, which is better than not making any of the sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, you can see this, this cliff here leads all the way back to the beginning. That's where we entered, through that building over there. And you can see we can reach all the rooftops from over here. Uh, which is how you reach the rest of the treasure. Hello, dragon. Marco? You've 
reach the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. Okay, so that'll have unlocked a new whirlwind we can use to get back up. Yep, there it is. Which is super helpful because we're going to need to use that because we need to jump to a few different places, such as these two gems. But we also want to go over there where there's some treasure chests. So we'll use the whirlwind to get back up, nice and easy. There we go. We can head over there, like this. It's okay that we landed down there, because we can just jump up, like so. Okay, we're still a little shy of the maximum treasure, so there's some more stuff here somewhere that we've passed up. Uh, Spark says it's in that direction. I don't quite remember exactly, so uh, let's head back up to the top of Cliff Town. Take this little whirlwind here. There we go. I think maybe there's some stuff like on the back side of this building that we can get to. Uh, there is a force field to worry about, which is a bit annoying. Let's see. Yeah, there's some gems in the back. Yeah. There's also a locked chest back here, but we haven't got the key yet, so we're going to have to find that as well. Uh, if I can remember where it is, that would be great, but so far I can't. You saying to go that way, Sparks? Yeah, that's where the chest is that's locked, so I'm going to look for the key. And there isn't a clue for that, because Sparks just points out treasure, not other things. So, hmm. I'm going to have to actually think about where that key might be with our, with our brains a little bit. What's the point of that one over there? This one over here is providing the same effect. Hmm. Oh, there's a gem just sort of sitting there that I somehow missed. <laughs> um. Hmm. Where is that key hiding? Um. Mind you, two levels in this video because this one shouldn't go for too much longer. Unless I really mess up somehow. Which is possible. So, you know, I look forward to that. Uh, if you... If you like. Hmm. Keys, 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 keys. I think there might be a key, like, under there somewhere, maybe? Uh, let's take the whirlwind over here so we can get up to the top again and have a look around. Yeah, you can survive water if you have some sparkses, but that river is too deep to jump out of um, because it's at the bottom of the cliff and all that, so yeah. Anyway, we're back um, at the last uh, ferry we visited, which was just a little while ago, so not really a big deal. We did actually lose a life, but again, lives are super meaningless in this game, so whatever. Where is that key? Yeah, Sparks is just pointing to where the chest is. I'm guessing the chest has a 25 in it. Or, you know, treasure adding up to 25, because that's the amount we're missing. Uh, but I can't remember where the key is. <laughs> we don't have it. Uh... Not there? Nope. I don't know how we get up there anyway, but we're up there. I think we've been pretty much everywhere in Clifftown. I seem to be getting a little bit stuck with each level, which is a bit awkward. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun, but... So it's probably okay. 
That's what really matters, right? I don't know, I hope you're having fun too, watching me play. Since, you know, that's kind of the reason I'm recording, so that you can enjoy the game as well, or enjoy my take on the game, or something along those lines. Is it on top of one of these rooftops? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, no. Um, can't see it there. Do I have to look up another guide? I really don't want to have to do that in every video. That would be super obnoxious. I would hate that. Uh, hang on, let's let's go to the other side of the river. I've thought of something. Um, Like, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's a waterfall over there. Is there anything hidden behind it? Since it is, after all, a waterfall. Uh, it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like a waterfall. And you can't, you know, swim. If you touch a waterfall, you take damage, so... Hmm. What am I missing here? What am I missing? This is awkward. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was called Peacekeeper's One Word in the original version of the game. So they've like renamed it by the looks of things. Because it's two words now in this version. up a guide and it doesn't actually mention a key so that's weird Is that... oh my god <laughs> I'm sure that was a locked chest <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay that does, that's that's okay I can do another level and it's all another level I didn't take too long so that's all right oh my god that's hilarious. Alright. I wonder I couldn't find a key. Anyway, uh, so that's Clifftown. Um, in the base game as well. Oh my god. Clifftown's done. Um, take that, Jux. Uh, okay, there's still some more levels to do, so let's have a bit of a look around, see what we can find. Can I use this cannon to get that chest, or is it too close? Let's give it a try. Nope, I can. Cool. Yay! That's the boss. I'm not really in the mood for doing the boss, so I might come back to that in a bit. Oh, oh yeah, you meant to use the cannon over here. Uh, you can see there isn't really an ob obvious way to get through, but if you look up there, there's a big target, so... If we hit the big target with the cannon, it'll let us through. If 
by creating an extra platform here that we can stand on. Which is how you get over here. Uh, let's get these gems. There we go. Uh, I believe there's a level around here somewhere too. There's also a thief over there, as you can see. And the dragon. <laughs> He's off camera. <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, here's the key for this uh, hub world. I might just finish off the hub world and call that a video. One level plus the hub world. Seems reasonable. Hello, dragon. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies. <laughs> and the oh, that's cool. Spyro was gonna say a naughty word. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, if we come back here, we can actually see there's something else over here. Uh, there's a level of sorts, but uh, I don't really want to... Well, maybe I'll do it. This is a bit of a different level. You can see it's called Night Flight. Uh, maybe you can. The reason for that is this is a flight-based level. Um, Spyro can actually fly properly, and you have to collect a bunch of stuff within a time limit, basically. Which is a bit different to the normal gameplay. Uh, there's something over here. Oh no! Spyro, no! 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 Oh my god. I don't know why it plays this cutscene whenever you die, because the original game you just respawned at the last checkpoint without that. Seems a bit pointless. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I can get over there if I don't mess it up. So, let's give this another shot. See? Easy. A bit more loot. And then, there's also a locked chest. Which we have the key to, so we can open it. Like so. And that's all the treasure. So the hub is now complete, so as you can see. Uh, we've also done two levels in here. Uh, maybe I'll do one more. How much time is this? 22 minutes? Mm, maybe I'll call that a video. I don't know. I might let it run a bit longer by going to do the next level. Um, I believe there's a level over this way. Somewhere. Remember the exact spot, that'd be great. Maybe a bit past the balloonist. Here it is. Okay. Ice cabin. Um. Yeah, I think I'll end the video here. We'll do ice cabin next time. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're gonna go through that door. <laughs> so, yeah, Cliff Town's done. Uh, the hub is done. If you look at the menu here, you can see. Peacekeeping 100%, Dry Canyon is 